So we talked last class about the Keynesian model and how anything that's below YP, Keynes had the notion that anything below the potential GDP in the short run is going to cause no impact on prices. That's why it's horizontal. But it's going to cause significant impact on the real GDP. So if we are at the YP and there is a downturn and AD zero goes to AD one, there's going to still be the same price level, but there will be significantly lower economic activity that's documented, right? And so then he talked about, well, what is the thing that determines this aggregate demand? And we started talking about consumption, how consumption split into durable, non-durable goods and services, how consumption is determined by So the determinants of consumption are the disposable income. So it's how much income people have after taxes. It's the expected future income. It's what they expect their wealth to be. And then it's what their wealth and or credit is right now. Then we talked about investment expenditure. And I emphasize the fact that this is not a purchase of a stock and bond. When we talk about finance or accounting and we talk about investments, it's a very different thing than when we're talking about economics. Economics investment is the spending of money on new capital goods. We have four different categories that we can group our investment into. We have our producers, durable equipment and software, right? So this is desks, Microsoft Word, AutoCAD, uh, you know, keyboards, so on and so forth. Non-residential structures, these are, you know, office buildings, gyms, uh, fields, ranches, farms, mines, whatever you have, right? Um, changes in inventory, right? We talked about how, you know, if you make a bunch of Xboxes this year, but you don't sell them, you're investing in yourself in the future. And so you can count that as an investment because next year you're going to have to make less Xboxes if you end up selling the same amount that you sold this year. And then residential structures are also lumped into investment expenditure here, right? These are usually, uh, you know, these are purchased by households. And the important caveat that we have to remember with residential structures is it's only new structures, new structures. And when we talked about investment expenditure, we talked about how there are two determinants of investment expenditure, right? The expected profit rate in the future and then the interest rate today. So these are the determinants of investment spending. Questions on the first half of chapter 12 and Keynesian economics?